Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's let's get started then. So welcome. This is the functional group update for infrastructure, which is a group of multiple teams. I'm not reading the chat right now, so if you want to say or ask anything, just leave it there. We're gonna get back to that later. So first of all, production. Um, the status of the post postmortem of the database, which means that all the actions we, that uh, came up uh, from the database incident we have. Uh, currently, we're running uh, a backup recovery test uh, at all levels. The database is covered. It's covered by Wally, uh, which is a streaming backup solution. We talked about this before, and it's behaving really, really well. Uh, we're also checking storage. We discovered that things are basically breaking after we moved to ARM, which means that the Azure way of doing snapshots uh, in Classic is completely incompatible with the new uh, environment we we're using and that we were pushed to. So we're rebuilding all the disks. This is gonna happen. This requires downtime, which means we're gonna be doing it uh, during the weekend because that's gonna, that's gonna be when we have uh, low usage of the site, uh, but it's a risk. So we wanna do it really, really soon because technically we don't have backups for, this, for the file system right now. So this matters a lot, it's critical. Just, um, and this will be a public recording. If you say no backups for the file system, can you elaborate what we do have? So we do have the disks right now. We do have old snapshots. Uh, the problem is that we don't have new snapshots for the Git uh, file system. We have uh, backups for the databases and Redis. And okay. okay, so it literally is we don't have backups. Yes for which, which the, why, the new ARM Git thing. So this is our highest priority item. Yes, right now. which is basically why we dropped everything else and we're concentrating on this uh, okay. to get it solved during this weekend. The sooner the better. Besides that, we have a, we added a monthly backup appreciation date in which we test our backups and we restore something. It's scheduled in the production calendar. Uh, it's, I think it's the first Tuesday of the month, which means that next Tuesday we're gonna be recovering the database uh, completely to check that it works. The big theme ahead, besides all this critical stuff, is that we have a plan for getting to Canary deployment. It's a long-term vision, it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna bring some really interesting things. Uh, the first one is that with this, we will be able to provide migrations at, at a large scale uh, and deploying branches using review apps, which means that we're gonna be able to dog food ourselves. With this, we also want to provide automate, automated black box testing, uh, black, uh, black box testing to detect performance regressions. Uh, in the same plan, there's a proposal on how we, can, how we can actually have a baseline and test whenever we're working on a branch and check if we're going forward or backwards in the, in the new branch. And on the long term, we want to use uh, containers in production with, uh, with rolling deploys. It's a long term plan, it's going to take some time, and we're going to start with development and then move through staging to finally get to production so we get there safely. In other news, uh, Jason Tevnan joined us as a senior production engineer last week. Uh, there's more people coming soon. You'll get to meet them all. Uh, Azure is restarting NFS instances, and this is causing downtime. Um, we have been chasing them a lot on this, to at least to understand why this is happening and what we can do, and particularly why they don't send an email to let us know when this happens, uh, or if this is going to be happening, uh, because we're not having a good experience there. We got some improvements, uh, but um, nothing too critical. Uh, Besides this, we are also uh, pushing for a change procedure because we have uh, been detecting that we spend a lot of time in production um, introducing changes and we want to avoid, we want to announce whenever we need downtime with enough time for the customers to actually adjust to it. We want to control it and we want to have a solid checklist of what are the things that, that needs to happen whenever we want to take a change to production. And um, with this, we're also pushing for a production readiness um, questionnaire, just a set of questions to get to know what is the state of things we want to push into production. The aim of this is to avoid um, not having a clue of 
what is actually going to be happening whenever we want to push something to production. Regarding the database, I'm taking your spot uh, today. Um, we started working with a consultant from Crunchy. Uh, it's already yielding really great results. We're getting really good information from them. And we're setting up uh, following steps to improve uh, quite a lot of things. Uh, we right now are running three database hosts, uh, two uh, as uh, secondaries and one as a, as a master with load balancing um, enabled all the time. We did have a little bit of a setback here uh, a couple of times, but in general it's behaving really well and it's uh, performing great. We also enabled PG Bouncer in production. PG Bouncer is a thing that allows us to reduce the um, resources that the database need. We, uh, we aim to use smaller hosts uh, for the database by doing this. We, we can use less connections, which means less memory, which means less resources in general. So it's, it's really good progress. And as far as I know, we're talking about dropping MySQL support. I don't know how, much, how official this is, but... It's not, think... it's, it's not official. We're not gonna drop MySQL. We have a lot of customers using that. Um, so I, 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 don't, I don't think it's likely, but uh, we're talking about it. Yeah. Good. Uh, we, yesterday we lost Jörg somewhere in the canals of Amsterdam. It's a King's Day, which means that we are hiring a database specialist. We're hiring a database specialist because Jörg has way too much work and there's a lot of work to do there and we want to have more people. Uh, so the position is open and we are basically hiring for it. Regarding security, we have the, we're close to complete the first risk assessment. Um, this is going to yield interesting recommendations uh, and by, by impact and what is the cost to mitigate these uh, these risks. Um, some of them is uh, DNS protection and improve the incident response policies. Uh, basically, we don't have good processes for handling these things, and we are working on getting them in place and then testing them. So we are ready for whenever we have a problem. Hopefully, we will never have a problem, but. We want to be ready for it. Uh, re top recommendations by impact is the disaster recovery plan for uh, whenever a sure goes down. Uh, this means having a large disaster recovery plan. We're all working on that. Uh, we plan to work harder on that. Uh, better monitoring for uh, vulnerabilities. We particularly we want to know if we ever get compromised. Um, we want to be able to react really fast to that, which is the data breach notification policy also, which is about that. On top of this, we're hiring a security specialist, which is a development position uh, of a highly paranoid person, uh, to say it somehow. And I think that the position is opening and we want to be interviewing or we are interviewing for it already. And Kelly, Andrew, want to take on this? Cool. Thanks, Pablo. Um, yeah, I'll just tell you guys about Gitterly a bit. I'll start with accomplishments. So our first accomplishment is that we actually managed to ship an initial release of Gitterly in GitLab 9.0. Um, for that release, we shipped uh, smart HTTP info refs, um, and it's been running well on gitlab.com. Um, right now, it's running alongside Workhorse and reading Git data through an NFS mount. Um, and we hope to change this in the near future by running Gitterly close to the Git data. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. Um, and in Git, uh, sorry, in GitLab 9.2, we have several more migrations running behind feature flags, and I've included some links to some of those migrations. Uh, concerns for Gitterly, so probably the biggest concern that we have in the project is that we underestimated the learning curve for gRPC um, adoption, and so we've had a lot of problems around um, the Ruby client library component that we use for gRPC. And, we've, and I've included uh, issue 191 there, um, just kind of gives you an outline of, of all the different problems we've been seeing. Um, we've also been investigating a potential workaround using a, a piece of technology called the gRPC Gateway um, and Swagger, and then generating a Swagger uh, Ruby client that doesn't use the C bindings. Um, and basically what the gRPC Gateway does is it is it takes a gRPC component and, and exposes it as a um, RESTful interface, um, which is obviously nice, simple, boring technology. Um, but it's probably worth just saying that that is like a backup only at the moment. So we're gonna continue trying to get the gRPC component to work as it should. 
And um, if all else fails, at least we'll know uh, that we've got something that we can fall back to. Um, we've had a few other problems with gRPC as well, but I won't go into those now. Um, the second concern that we have is around the lack of like a stress testing environment where we can test things um, with load. So one of the things that we found is that um, we've tested things in staging and in developments and we haven't found any problems. And then we've put them on gitlab.com and we have found problems and it's all down to basically load. Um, but I think some of the things that uh, Pablo mentioned earlier in the presentation might help with that. Um, cool. Do you want to skip to the next slide, Pablo? Cool. Um, so our plans for Gitly are firstly, as I mentioned before, is getting Gitly to run um, on, on the network. Um, so currently, as I said, Gitly is running on workers uh, via Unix socket and in 9.2 we'll be moving Gitly across the network and co-locating it on the NFS server so it's nice and close to the data. Um, and once it's close to the data, we're hoping to see some impo uh, performance improvements. Um, and these will mostly come from reducing the round trip latency time for Git IO calls. Um, and once we've got some experience with the network configuration, we'll be able to start getting an idea of what the next step forward will be in terms of optimization for Gitly. Um, and alongside the optimization work, of course, we'll continue to migrate routes one by one um, to Gitly. So we'll be doing that in GitLab CE, Workhorse, and GitLab Shell. And we're hoping to complete the migration of Workhorse first, and we'll probably do Shell after that sometime. And GitLab CE will take a lot longer because there's a lot of routes that need to be migrated. And so we'll be, we've prioritized those by the worst performing routes first, and we're working our way down the list. And there's a link to uh, that list included there. Um, and that's it for Giddily. So I think we're on to questions. Correct. Let's see what we have in the chat. Uh, yes, uh, Sid, your question. Uh, yeah, Giddily uh, is running on, on all the GitLab servers at the moment. Yeah, so I think that's quite an accomplishment that we shipped it in 9.0 and there was, I think, a small thing where it didn't, didn't start, but we didn't have any major, we, I, I don't think we had a lot of complaints, so kind of introduced a big architecture change and everything just kept working for our, uh, for our users. So I, I think that's a huge accomplishment by, uh, by the Gitali team. Well done. Thanks. Thank you. Any more questions? Crickets to one. How, how is the, the pipeline for the database specialist looking? Not very good. We we started um, changing the job description. We had a meeting yesterday and there's a merge request um, where we're basically changing it because it looks like there's a lot of people who go to the, um, to the job description but then don't apply. Uh, so it seems like there's something that is not exactly clear. Um, also, we, we use the opportunity to clarify a little bit our ideas because the position has been changing uh, through time. Cool. Yeah, and if I recall correctly, <clears throat> I think it's now advertised on Stack Overflow, so I can comment on whether that's true or not. Uh, same for the security specialist. I think that that's what she mentioned yesterday. Crickets to one, crickets to two, crickets to three. Have a great day, everyone.